assalamu alaikum dear students our today's topic for discussion is a poem the listeners written by walter de la mary let me give you a brief introduction about the writer that is walter de la mary walter de la mary he was born in 1873 and died in 1956 having started a literary career at the age of 22 walter de la mary continued to publish till the end of his life his writings have an inspiring fantastic quality which serves as a means of entry into a world of deeper reality among his best known works are the remarkable novels memories of midget 1921 and henry broken 1904 his poem the listeners which he had written in 1912 was ranked as the second most popular poem in english after rudyard kipling's if this was about writer that is walter de la mary let me give you a brief introduction of the poem students Our listeners, the listeners. It is a supernatural poem. It is full of mystery. It contains a strange incident. There is a haunted house in the jungle. Ghosts live in it. A traveler on horseback goes riding to this house. He knocks. at the door of the house but nobody answers his call he knocks once twice and thrice but nobody answers his call ghost is standing listening to the call of the traveler he knocks again at the door for the third time he departs from the jungle leaving a message to the empty house our sense of mystery deepens as he leaves right dear students let me give you a brief summary of the poem the listeners dear students it is a supernatural poem it is full of atmosphere of fear and mystery it was a moonlit night a traveler visited a house in a jungle the house was lonely and deserted it was haunted by ghosts so it was a haunted house wherein ghosts lived in the traveler got down from his horse and knocked at its door again and again he repeatedly shouted for someone to come out but he got no response the poet is able to create an atmosphere of silence fear and suspense his heart was full of fear he thought that a large number of number of ghosts lived in the house they listened to the voice of the traveler they stood in the dim rays of the moon falling on the staircase this staircase led into a big empty hall of that house the traveler felt the strangeness of the whole situation the silence of the house 
was the only answer to the traveler's call. His horse, his horse ate the grass. His horse ate the grass. The traveler again knocked at the door. This time he knocked a bit louder. He said that those who were inside the house should know that he had come. He had kept his promise, but nobody had answered his call. Then the rider went back or riding to the place. Then the rider went back or riding to his place. The iron hoops of the horse struck the stones in the jungle and produced noise. When the traveler had gone away, the silence of the atmosphere returned. This was a brief summary of the poem that is the listeners. So now pre-reading. How would you feel if you had to visit a house that has not been lived in for some time? Now there are options, frightened, nervous, anxious, worried, none of the above, all the above. Discuss with your partner, give reasons for your answer. This is in this is a classroom activity. Inshallah, we will discuss it in the class when the schools will reopen, right? So, listening. Now, listen to the poem. Your teacher will read it aloud for you. Is anybody there? said the traveler, knocking on the moonlit door. Is anybody there? said the traveler, knocking on the moonlit door. And his horse in the silence chopped the cross. And his horse in the silence chopped the grasses of the forest's ferny floor. And a bird flew up out of the turret above the traveler's head. And he smote upon the door a second time. Is there anybody there? he said. Let me read it again. Is there anybody there? Is anybody there? said the traveler, knocking on the moonlit door, and his horse in the silence chopped the grasses of the forest's ferny floor, and a bird flew up out of the turret above the traveler's head, and he smote, and he smote upon the door a second time. Is there anybody? he said. But nobody, but no one descended, but no one descended to the traveler, but no one descended to the traveler, no head from the leaf fringed seal, no head from the leaf fringed seal, leaned over and looked into his eyes, into his grey eyes, where he stood perplexed and seated. Is anybody there? said the traveler, <coughs> knocking on the moonlit door. And his horse in the silence chopped the grass, chopped the grass, grasses of the forest's ferny floor, and the bird flew out of the turret above the traveler's head, and he smote upon the door a second time. Is there anybody he said near students here poet says that a traveler went to a haunted house in the jungle right ek muka ek musafir jungle mein jungle mein waka ek ghar ki janib gaya ghar tanhai mein duba hua tha aur sansan tha और इस घर में भूत रहते थे दैट मीन राइट शेयर से इज दैट ट्रेवल वेंट टू ए हॉन्टेड हाउस इन द जंगल वायर इन गोस्ट स्लीव ही नॉकुड एट द डोर विच वॉज बैथेड इन द मून लाइट इज एनी बोडी दियर सेट द ट्रेवलर 
and he knocked he knocked at the door and said is anybody there koi andar hai usne knock kiya darwaze pe darwaze ke samne knock kiya aur puchta hai ki koi hai andar knocking on the moonlit door us darwaze pe wo knock kar raha hai which was bathed in the moonlight which was bathed in the moonlight and his horse in the silence chuffed the grasses rat he says that his horse began to eat the grass of the forest in a noisy manner and his horse in the silence chuffed the grasses that means his horse the horse of the traveler began to eat the grass of the forest in a noisy manner that he says of the forest is for the floor that he says that a large number of ferns were growing in the forest a large number or number of green plants were growing in the forest and a bird flew out of the turret and right here says that that's bird came out of the house flying above the head of the traveler a bird came out of the and a bird flew out of the turret a bird came out of the of a little tower of a little tower of the house above the traveler said and he smote upon the door a second time this was second time when he struck the door when he knocked the door when the traveler knocked the ye dusri ye dusri dafa usne ab is darwaze ko khat kataya dobara smote kiya dobara dobara struck kiya upon the door a second time is anybody is there anybody he said and he again asked andar koi hai right the traveler knocked again at the door this was the second time the second knock was it was louder then the first knock he again asked if if there was anybody inside the house right but no one descended to the traveler but no one descended to the traveler here right says that no one descended to the traveler no one moved downwards to the traveler no man downwards to the traveler no head from the leaf fringed seal that is here right says that nor anybody leaning out of the window from which the leaves from which the leaves were peeping out right but nobody descended to the traveler nobody moved to the traveler any darwaze dene makan se koi nahi aaya uske paas koi wahan se makan se bahar nahi aaya descended moved that means koi nobody moved downwards to the traveler no head from the leaf fringed seal or he writer says and he writer says that nor anybody lean out of the window from which leaves were peeping out lean it over wo tek laga ke baitha tha and looking into his grey eyes and wo soch raha tha uske eyes jo grey the aur wo soch raha tha tek laga ke us darwaze ke saath tek laga ke baitha tha he was leaning against the door and he was looking into his eyes he was he was thinking something where he stood perplexed where he stood perplexed jahan pe wo khada tha and perplexed that means he was he was he was there in a perplexed manner he was in a, he was there in a puzzled manner bade hairan ko andaaz mein tha wo bade motionless andaaz mein tho wahan aur bada pareshan tha dear students Here it says that the poet says that no one responded to the knocking of the door by the traveler. 
No one came down stairs. Nor did anyone lean out of the window from which leans leaves were peeping out. That says that he stood quite puzzled there. Thank you very much. Oh, it's nice.